The beach was located about a mile past the Great Odin Barrier, which defined the perimeter of New Earth. Ajax phased through the barrier using his newfound ability, and when he finally reached the cove from his childhood, he looked out towards the ocean. It's not how he remembered it. Half of the sun still held in the sky within the boundaries of New Earth, and its light reflected off the water. The other half, however, was absent. As the sun set, more and more of it disappeared into what appeared to be a veneer of hazy, half-reflective shattered glass that stretched out across the sky. As Ajax watches day turn to dusk, internally he submits to a darkness of his own. Ajax pulls out the shard. A purple glow pulses and its essence seeps out into the air around him. A demon emerges. It reveals itself to be a manifestation of Ajax's deepest desires. He wants freedom. The shard can provide it. He wants power. With the demon, he can unleash it. All he has to do is embrace the darkness inside of him. The demon coaxes Ajax towards the ocean, and he follows its lead. It explains that the source of his pain and his hatred lies with Odin and New Earth. They took everything away from him. Ajax can make them suffer too. But if he decides to travel down this dark path, there will be consequences. The shard is the key. It can bring him salvation, but in return he must use it to unlock what lies beyond reality and deliver it to his demon. Ajax agrees to these terms and resolves to have his revenge on New Earth. He lets out a primal scream, experiencing the full force of the demon's energy as it flows back into the shard. Ajax feels the sand on his feet and the wave striking against his legs. He hears footsteps approaching on the rocks behind him. Quickly, he places the shard back in his pocket and turns to face his first victim. And now, we present to you the conclusion to Act 1. Here's We'd Love to Help You Drown. Follow me down to your shadow 